Hey, FTX, the room where it happened. I'm sure that by now you've already figured out the uh, theme for this week. It's not very hard. Um, actually, I'd love to know some of your guesses. Obviously, uh, it has to do with Alexander Hamilton, but what are we talking about? Uh, let me know that. Warm up, we're gonna do three rounds, 30 high knees, five inch worms with a push up, and then 10 single leg deadlifts on each leg. Then the room where it happened is three rounds, 400 meter run, 20 wall balls, and 20 Russian kettlebell swings. So for the warm up, the high knees is pretty simple. Just have your hands out right in front of you. You're gonna bring your knees up high enough to where you can hit your palms, but you'll be running in place. And then you'll do five inchworms with a push up. So on those inchworms, you can just get a, a wide stance, reach down behind your heels to touch the ground. Make sure your legs are still straight. You're actually stretching out the hamstrings a little bit as well. So you'll hit the ground, walk out, get a push up, and then walk right back. Hit the ground behind your heels again, and then go out again. The next movement is gonna be single leg deadlifts. So just remember you wanna to try to keep your torso, chest, arms uh, parallel to the ground. So you reach down and you're gonna to touch the ground with both hands, try not to twist here. That way you can engage the glute a little better. You'll do 10 on one side and then switch over to the other side and do 10 here. I like to try to get down a little bit lower each time to where I'm even hitting uh, my full palm on the ground just to continue to stretch the hamstring a little bit and get a fuller uh, range of motion. And then for the room where it happens, you have that three rounds, you'll head out for a 400 meter run at the beginning of each round, 20 wall balls. So for those wall balls, again, uh, you're, you're going for 10 feet for men, nine feet for ladies, but you may not have that. So you know, if you're outside or whatever, just try to get a full depth squat and then throw it up a good height not to hit yourself in the face. And then your Russian kettlebell swings. Uh, this is especially for those of you who are inside and can't actually uh, get the kettlebell up that high. You're going to go just eye level. If you're inside, if you're inside with the wall balls as well and you don't have a high enough ceiling, then uh, either throw it as high as you can uh, without obviously damaging your ceiling or just get uh, front squats in there with the wall ball. Even a little bit, you do something. And that's it for the room where it happens, so good luck.